Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper clear morning in the picturesque foothills of San Diego County as we head to a suspected crime scene. A convoy of law enforcement vehicles is about to descend on an unlikely place. A mansion complete with its own vineyard and chapel rented out as a wedding venue and Airbnb. Police believe it's also the headquarters for a lucrative theft ring where items stolen from Ulta Beauty Supply and other retailers are being resold on Amazon. As we pull up, authorities tell us they have the suspected ringleader in handcuffs. What are we looking for? There they are, right there. Okay. And it's happening everywhere. For months, we got exclusive access to the California Highway Patrol, watching up close how it fights organized retail crime, which, including external theft, totaled $40.5 billion in the U.S., according to the National Retail Federation's most recent estimate. On another day in another California city, we see more truckloads of what police say is stolen clothing, mostly from TJ Maxx. We have a search warrant for the resident. Come on, we're to Okay, so that's 8 million in thefts from makeup real retailers. So the most innocent, beautiful, feminine, fit, and friendly woman was involved in a multi-million dollar criminal theft ring, hiring others to do her dirty work in California. Her name is Michelle Mack and she's 53. So you heard everything that was said and basically she got 15 seconds on this video, even though this was about her. And then they showed all the other people who basically were getting damn near nothing for taking on all the risk and um, taking the items. Um, personally, you already know, I've said it many times, I could care less about people stealing items. I do not care, especially on stolen land. Now, this woman, she, her, she had a $2.75 million mansion, 4,500 square feet, and she paid as many as 12 women to steal from stores across the country. And she stockpiled the goods and sold them on Amazon for her benefit. So she wasn't happy with what she had. She needed more. So basically the police recovered 10,000 items were $3,870. So So basically they said she steals from Sephora, Ulta, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Prada, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secrets, and um, many more, many more different retailers. And she's not going to do it. She sends um, the people who are desperate for money to send it. Exploitation of the working class or the working poor. And she basically is facing 140 um, felony counts. And these are the counties that she stole from, so. Yeah. What really bothered me about this whole story is it's not out there, like it's not thrown across all platforms um social media platforms and the, and tv the way it would be if this was a black woman or a black person doing this and the headlines are even worse for this the bias is just ridiculous so one article says suburban mom ran complex crime ring that stole nearly 8 million in makeup across the store. So basically they're just saying it's just makeup and it was so complex and it was 8 million and she did this. San Diego County woman suspected ringleader of 8 million retail theft ring. Now this woman is suspected a mastermind of 8 million retail theft ring that hit 200 Ulta stores. Mastermind. She's a mastermind. But, but if this was someone who looks like me, they would have been a thug, a criminal, a thief, the worst scum of the earth. They need to be buried un alive. Uh, all of that, all of that woke, um, what else? Other names <laughs> that you really can't say on here, but yet they're saying, oh, this mastermind, this criminal, this thug, this thief.
it's just it just disgusts me the headlines of the articles disgust me the way they're handling this disgusts me um people are always trying to sit up here and watch black people in the store i've been watched and followed in the store but yet like i said i've seen them just walk out the store with things and nobody sees it nobody ever sees it this woman's been doing this for so long and they just now kept catching up with her and then every time I would see those videos of people running in, I would either think that the store hired them so the store could get the insurance money, which I haven't ruled that out. But then there has to be someone bigger that they're stealing for and getting money from. So this just shows you what's going on. It always trickled back to the original thief. But I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one.